Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie Hailfire Peaks. In the last episode, we took on the uh, the Kickball Coliseum of Hailfire Peaks using a, using a transformation straight from Mayhem Temple, actually. And in between episodes, we took the time to go ahead and run back to Mayhem Temple, switch back to Banjo Kazooie, and return here. So that'll save some time to begin this episode. And in the meantime. We are pretty much, we've actually made quite a bit of progress in Hailfire Peaks. I mean, like, I know it's been like five or so episodes right now, but still, we have all Jinjos, all moves, all extra honeycomb pieces. We only have one Cheeto page left. We only have ten notes left, and only the last Globo, and then the six Jiggies that remain. So, yeah, we're actually doing better on Hailfire Peaks than I thought in the last episode. So, anyways, um, we need to get over to the ice side to do what I plan to do in this episode. And that's pretty much it. it involves Mumbo and possibly uh, our transformation with Wumpa in this world, but I don't know for sure yet. So we're just going to go ahead and warp straight over there from the first warp here. So, yeah, let's do that. Let us do that. Okay, so anyways, uh, wait. Yeah, it's up here. It's up here, dude. Uh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to go to the ice side. Uh, let's go upper area. Can't think of any reason to go back to the icy grotto, honestly, because I think we have everything there, actually. Okay, so here we are, back on Hailfire Peak's icy side. So, at the very top of this rock structure right here is actually a Cheeto page. You're going to have to use Kazooie's uh, glide move in order to get to it. And, uh, you know, his glide move to get to other things. So, anyways, while we have Banjo Kazooie deck together, we should be able to take care of this guy. So, let's just wait for Chili Willy to start shooting his ice balls again. And because we kind of need those, uh, you know, those uh, claw clamor boots that we're going to be doing next. So let's get this taken care of now. Come on. Come on. Okay, seriously. This game ridiculous. Okay. Can I find another one, please. Oh, here we go. I'm big of foot. I have an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. Wow, what a jerk. Let's get him taken care of, shall we? Oh, jeez. Packs quite a wallop, doesn't it? I'm real proud of my enormous foot. So I guess maybe you need to hear the dialogue? Yeah, that's right. Okay, jeez. <laughs> ah, my poor enormous foot. Where's the first aid kit? I love that effect of him, you know, his voice echoing through the mountains. But anyways, yes, you have to do this in order to um, do what we're about to do next. I wish I would stop. You probably wish that at this point that would stop, stop trying to, you know, avoid spoiling stuff, but it's pretty, it should be pretty clear what we're going to be doing next, considering what we had to do in order to, you know, get access to it, so anyway, or to get these boots. So you just make your way up here, and let's see, hopefully this will, I think there's something else up here, but I don't know for sure, but anyways, right up here, go through this entrance after healing yourself first, because we need to do that, because we took a hit from that. Big, Mr. Bigfoot down there. And go through here. Because it is finally time to take on Chili Willy. Finally. So, let's uh, get the start, shall we? Like I said before, it's going to be harder now. Because we fought Chili Willy first. Cold and icy dragon. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat my, uh, my poor brother. He tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza, too? Yes, please. I ordered an anchovy deluxe. Well, Tom, we've got none. I'm sure you have. Give me my pizza. Oh, my God. So if it isn't obvious, you have to use your fire eggs against this guy. And I wish I had been more prepared for this battle, jeez. Okay. There we go. Aye, it burns. So as you might have noticed, he actually has 12 hits instead of 6 like his brother. Let me have just a little taste. Alright, so just got platforming here. We should be good. Okay. Yeah, he goes a lot faster too, so be aware of that as well. Okay. Careful. 
He's actually pretty good at aiming, I will give him that. Uh, okay, oh crap. Oh god, How I actually avoid that? Wow, okay. I'll take it. Oh jeez. Thank god the cans protect you, I mean jeez. Okay. Yeah, you gotta wait for him to do his tongue attack. It's gonna get faster and faster the more hits you get on him, so be aware of that as well. Okay. Let's get, get a move on! Yeah! Alright! Oh jeez. Come on! Come on! Oh jeez. I almost didn't make that jump. Okay. Yeah, it's actually gonna be pretty tough. Twice as many hits, and his, and his moves are a lot faster too, so... Those are the main differences between the, the second battle and the first battle, no matter which order you fight them in. Yeah, hopscotch with, or not hopscotch, but jump rope with the dragon tongue. You don't see that every day. Jump! Uh, okay. Alright, made it. Just got one more jump like that to make, and then we'll be good to go, pretty much. Okay. Whoops! Oh, jeez. Okay, well that works. That works. Well, almost does. Okay. It's a good idea to stay on Kazooie. Actually, it might be better to make these jump. Okay. 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 Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Almost got. It. Yes. Yes. All right, we got it. Only took one hit too. I'm actually kind of impressed. Stop it! I don't want pizza anymore. I'll go and get a takeout instead. Hold on, you frosty fool. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. A trophy, eh? How about this? Or you just go just so conveniently happen to have one. And once again, tiny bodies for the win. Now which way is it to the fly through of McJiggy? <laughs> Another McJiggy reference. We haven't seen that since uh, the very beginning of the game. Wow. But I love that. It's a, it's a really, really good, really good uh, cross reference there. Reference to McDonald's, I guess. All right. If that's what they call cross references, that is. Okay. So no more avoiding ice or fireballs. That is very good on its own. But also we got no jiggy and what the heck. Okay, that's kind of weird, but whatever. All right, um, so let us let's see what's next here. We got five more jiggies to get, and I think I'm just gonna go for the, well, shoot, you know what? Oh my God, I could have done this, like, well, okay, hang on a sec. I'm gonna switch to Kazooie separately because I wanted to get that Cheeto page on top of the ice structure. And I should have done it while I was up there, but then again, I can't really do it anyways because I was, you know, I, was, I had Banjo with me. So, I'm thinking, hopefully, I should be able to. Wait. Wait a second. Maybe I can get to it from here? If this guy would go away. Oh my god. These enemies are so annoying, I'm just trying to get around here and get my Jinji. Jiggies. Jiggies or Jinjos, whatever you call them. Nope, come on. I think you can get to it this way, actually. Just by making your way to the top of the structure this way. If you do some very careful platforming, you might be able to make it up there without having to fly from a great distance. Because I think otherwise, you just have to go to the top of the chute. Yeah, on top of the chute. What else was I going to say there? Okay. Alright, we got it. Although I think you're supposed to do this later on. Yeah, because you're going to have to get up here again to get something that's on top of that platform way over there that's ahead of me. But in the meantime, let's uh, get Banjo and Kazooie back together again. Wait, is there something else up there? No, there isn't. I don't think so. We'll just be safe. Let's go up there again just to find out. So I want to be, be very, very sure that I don't miss anything. Always. Oh, never mind. You can't get up there as Kazooie alone separately either. That's weird, huh? Okay. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to head down to where that alien was, because we need to save him, actually. I mean, how do you say someone is dead? Well, that's not really possible in rea real life, but you got to remember, this is a video game. So... Yeah, the Jiggy I just saw over there, that's another one that you have to get from somewhere else. But, like, not another world, actually. You can get from within this world, but 
Um, it's kind of complicated. You'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There is. Uh, okay, that's not important right now. What I want to do first of all is I want to reveal all these uh, all these mumbo platforms because there's one more left. There's one more mumbo pad we need to reveal. Um, but yeah, Mumbo's uh, ability in this world is actually probably the, the coolest one yet. Actually, it's probably gonna be. Yeah, I think it's. I honestly, I think it's the coolest out of all of them. It's the best. That <laughs> coolest. How ironic. Just gonna see we destroy that ice cube there. I think that's all the Mumbo pads you need actually. So what we need to do is we need to switch Mumbo now. Actually, well, isn't there something? Wait. I want to check and see if there's something else over here. Don't think there is, but I want to be sure. I'm just going to take the hits. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, yes, over here is... Yeah, the other Globo. Yeah, we kind of need this. Jeez, even though I already had the other one, so I could use that from Mumbo itself. It's good to have that out of the way. What can I say? Oh. I'm sorry, Banjo. I'm very sorry. Actually, it should be Kazooie. It's actually Kazooie that takes the hit anyway, so what the heck. Uh, actually, let's go around here. Let's just go around here. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? I, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I just keep on, like, changing my mind where I want to go and whatnot, but I just want to make sure I got everything. I just want to make sure I don't have to go back to places over and over and over again, because it gets annoying if I do have to, and it's annoying for both me and you guys, if that happens to be the case. Okay, so this is the last warp pad, and the last set of notes are also up here, too, conveniently. Yep, right here. What do you know? What the heck? Oh, I guess you have to melt it with, a. Uh... Well, I don't think you have to use uh, Kazooie's Fire Breath, because you also... Cause... You know, not everyone's gonna have a uh, Dragon Kazooie going here, but yeah. What's over here? I just want to see real quick. What's? Are you kidding me? Oh, I guess this is an easier way back up. Okay, I'll take that. I will take it. Seriously, I want to know what's over here. I'm just very curious. There's gotta be a reason why you would come over here, isn't there? Like just get up to this higher area. Is there something up here? I must know. There's nothing up here. Wow. I thought there was something cool up there or something. And dude, I am not even on that grip grab ledge. You have no reason to try to grab me there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick, and this is actually gonna be the last thing that we do in this episode. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna get mumbo in this episode, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna do that next time. But for now there's one one special thing I wanna do. And, oh, this is where that is, yeah. If you come up here, you'll notice that there is another train switch right here. This train switch is for the ice side train station. It's very well hidden. You cannot access it other than actually taking the train straight over there. So that's the only way to get over there. So more on that later. But for now, um, we cannot press that switch in our current form, so we need to instead come up here. And we're going to enter this igloo that I told you guys about earlier, showed you earlier. Wait, want we'll to make sure... Oh, I, yes, yes, yes. Good thing I remember to do this. Since my N64 was turned off since the last time I did this, I need to destroy this. There we go. It's going to be important later, but for now, let's head on into this igloo. Not the big glue like we had in Donkey Kong 64. No, this is a small glue. But in here is something very, very familiar. Actually, someone very familiar. It's another throwback to Banjo-Kazooie. This is Boggy. It's Boggy's Igloo. Check it out. I haven't seen Boggy in a long time. Not for two years. Let's see how he's doing. Oh. Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. 100 hertz scanning, Dolby 5.1 surround sound, 19, 9, uh, 999 channels, 15 SCART sockets, 3 remote controls. <sighs> oh, sorry, but it's got no online shopping and I'm really hungry. <sighs> what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. I just happen to have one right here. That's the hot fish we got at the bottom of that pool in Hailfire Peaks. 
And guess what? He coughs up a Jiggy, of course. Classic Boggy. What, what was that? Well, the fish must have swallowed a Jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I've got stuff to watch. Alright. Okay. I am drawing a blank on what that thing on TV is. Oh. Thanks for all your help, Banjo. Oh, you're welcome, Mrs. Boggy. Okay, like I was saying, I am drawing a blank on what this is, but I'm going to look it up in between episodes, and I will let you guys know in the next episode, because I know, I'm pretty sure, if I'm mistaken, this has some relevance to Rareware's past. In fact, there, in fact, in the last two worlds of this game, including this one, um, there are actually quite a few references to Rareware's past, and we'll be getting to that, like, some of that in the next episode, actually. But for now, down here we have Boggy's children. Thanks for the fries, Mr. Bear. We're being thankful before. Oh yeah, you. Jumping on Mom and Pop's bed is almost as much fun as the pair as the fair. That was a fair. That was a that was an amusement park. Oh my God. Cheers for the burger back at the fair. Once again, it's amusement park, not a fair. God. There's a difference, you know. There's a big, big difference. Oh, actually. Take a look. Mm. On the wall down here, we got a picture of Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo Kazooie. That is very. Mm. I love seeing pictures like this of old older games because it's always like just very nostalgic. And there's Boggy Zigloo from Banjo Kazooie again. Yeah, a lot smaller. They've gotten themselves quite a quite an upgrade here in Hellfire Peaks, which is nice. So, in the next episode, I'm going to do a little bit of research and let you guys know what this uh, what this snowman on TV is. And then we will continue on and actually get Mumbo's appearance in this world. So, see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.